Hey everyone, Coach Hamley here with Slugger Sports Academy, bringing you the latest episode of the mental side. Today is episode 45, Monday Movement Edition. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you found meaning in our Friday focus last week and are looking to move through this week, uh, accomplishing your goals and working on becoming a better leader on your team and your community and learning more in the art of leadership through positive thinking, mindfulness, and just uh, putting it all into practice. As I've stated numerous times during these episodes, um, I'm not claiming to be an expert on any of this. This is just purely information that I've read, learned, and put into practice on my own as a coach and even as a athlete myself. Even if I didn't do it as an athlete, now as an adult, um, seeing where I was as an athlete, now as a coach, it's really helped give me perspective in uh, the information that I give you. So today, um, before we get to our movement, if you could please give this channel and video a like and maybe even send out the link to someone that you think would benefit from it. We are definitely in the midst of summer ball, or it's really getting started in the next, in this week or the weekend. So this is a great time, uh, more than ever, now that we are beginning to come out of our quarantine. I believe more businesses here in Michigan are opening up. Teams are coming together. Tournaments are started or, or starting. So this is the time now to really take what you've learned during that quarantine and begin putting it into practice and trying to use what you've learned in that team atmosphere. And you know, that's the best way to really solidify it is, is just not trying to do everything, but really picking and choosing or even just understanding where you need to work, you know, our faults. And that's why I'm really excited about today's Monday movement is because this for me is a fault. And today I wanted to talk on um, how listening accomplishes more than just speaking. And I'm a big talker. You know, my parents have always told me I have the gift of gab. And for the most part, it's, it's, it's good, right? Um, however, I know for me, um, I've written this down in in my journaling many, many times this year. And uh, one of my, I guess, New Year's resolutions or goals for this year was to to journal more. And um, as I've journaled, I've really learned more about myself and how I operate. And if you'd have asked Coach Hamley back in high school, college, if he would have ever been a journaler, I would have probably laughed at you. However, um, it's been something I've been thinking about doing for a while, so that can be another episode, but I would highly recommend starting to journal, putting your thoughts on paper. Um, it just helps bring clarity, bring perspective to your to your life, and I know it's done that for me. And one thing that I keep writing about in my journal is talk less, listen more. And I think uh, going back to last week's theme on leadership, leaders, I think truly great leaders uh, do just that. You know, we think leaders need to be the rah-rah, always talking, always giving insight, always giving wisdom, when in reality, I think talking can lead to a lot of situations and lead to a lot of problems where we've probably all heard the old saying, you know, you've been given two ears, two eyes, and one mouth. So you should be watching, listening more than you should be talking. Now, that's not to say you can't talk, that you don't have to go out and just be... Uh, um, you know, like a, a monk who's taken a vow of silence. However, um, maybe as you move through this week, think about how rather than just trying to weigh in on everything, um, talking just to talk or hear yourself talk, me, um, listen to people more. And as you are listening, truly listen. Give them your full attention. I mean, you might be staring at them. You might be looking at them. But are you actively listening? Or are you thinking about your next statement that you want to make? And remember, if you're talking, you can't be learning. You learn more by listening than you do by talking. So I would highly recommend and encourage um, to listen more, talk less. And as I say it out loud, you know, if my wife heard me saying this, she'd be nodding her head in the back and saying, yeah, 
are you going to taste your own medicine? And uh, so this week I'm going to definitely learn to talk less, listen more. And that's just a great life skill in general. I know I always seem to wrap it around life skills, but baseball, I think, sport in general really parallels with life. And I know as a father and a husband, I think especially as a man, too, we feel that we need to fix problems. We feel that we need to speak and weigh in on certain situations when in reality, a lot of times it helps people if you just listen. If, for example, if my wife is having a situation or going through a circumstance and she's talking, she's not necessarily asking for my advice, right? If she just wants to vent. And we've all been there, right? We don't want, when we vent, we can all empathize with that. When we vent, we don't necessarily want someone's opinion on it unless we say, well, what do you think? What would you do? And in that instance, yeah, then speak up and uh, weigh in on that because they asked for it. However, a lot of times when people are venting, they just want to, they just want to listen. They want someone to listen. They want someone to just say, yeah, you know what? You're right. That does stink. That isn't good. That's not cool. And wait for them to invite you to share your opinion. So as I'm saying that now, I'm trying not to laugh because I'm going to, I'm going to work on that myself this week. Uh, with you, I'm working on becoming a better leader, putting what I've learned and listened into practice. And like I said, I'm talking to you about this right now because for me, I know I've continuously written this down in my daily stoic journal, listen more, talk less, you know, speak less, listen more. You have two ears, two eyes, one mouth. So we're built to be listeners. We're built to um, be there with people. However, I, I think and I think most would agree we're here to talk less. And remember, when you're talking, you're just regurgitating what you've already learned. You're just expelling what's already in here. And while you're doing this, you're closing off this. So I would encourage you, listen to everyone. See what they have to say. I mean, you can learn from everybody. I think it was Lincoln that once said, we can learn from any fool on this earth. And that's not being uh, mean by any means. But however, if you just if you're listening to someone, you're like, eh, I, don't, I don't really like what this person's saying. Listen in, tune into what they have to say. Everyone's got a story, and um, if we want to truly be great leaders and members of our society, we need to listen to all stories, listen to all people, and that's how you get perspective, right? Perspective um, really helps shape your reality. Perception shapes reality and if you want to have the best perception if you want to you know view the world in a way that's going to be of benefit to you and to your people you need to listen to all stories you need to listen to everyone and you'll be surprised with what you learn so that's your monday movement um speak less listen more and i'll see you right back here tomorrow for our next episode with our tuesday talk Stay with us. I'm currently building how I want to start bringing in some some people for interviews, bodies of mine, people that I respect and uh, I think have great stories and messages, people that, that have inspired me. So stay tuned for that. It is in the works. Until next time, remember, keep on slugging. <laughs>